out B, it's the boss buddy, A, A. I'm here to make your day, put you in the mood for a helpful attitude. Say the planet, be a cool dude. If you don't know what to do, help the birds and bees and butterflies too. Ooh, ooh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Buzz buddy! Fold the gilla. Let me tell you a joke. Fold the gilla and mow the gilla, make your bro the gilla. For the gila, all which hazel is in the family Hamamelidaceae. And for the pollinators, it's yummy like pie. For the gila, ain't have no flower petals, but has yellow and white salmons. No, not salmons. If for the gila disappeared, there would be a famine. Hey, you like my music? Cause I'm jamming. What's a salmon, you might ask? It's the part of the plant that makes pollen. So that the pollinators don't get so hungry, their mouth becomes swollen. Fold the gila, let me tell you a joke. Fold the gila and mow the gila, make your sister gila. This is also witch elder or hazel. And for the pollinators, it's yummy like a cheese bagel. Now let me tell you a fable. If we plant invasive species or the man-made cultivars, the pollinators can't pollinate, which means no food, mate. Not just for them and on your plate. Because the pollinators can benefit from non-native plants. Sorta of like we only wear good looking pants. This plant is a gorgeous flower drub. And the pollinators say it's a delicious grub. This plant is a multi-seasonal star, meaning it does different things every season. That's a handful of great reasons to plant the the gila. Let me tell you a joke. Fold the gila and mow the gila were made by your grandma gila and grandpa gila. This plant blooms white flowers in the spring and its foliage in fall looks like the gorgeous butterfly wings y'all. Ah, have a great day and sub to my channel. Ooh. And take my native plant, Paul. <laughs>